What is going on, everyone? Samurai Solo and I am back with EA Sports UFC 3. Today I'm getting some fights in with Stipe Miocic. Going up against my favorite fighter to use in the game, JDS. You gotta watch out for that hand speed. Gonna box a little bit here, but if we see a chance for a takedown, you know, we'll take it. Or if I'm in trouble, I feel like I need to. Ooh, already got a drop on him there. Wow. He just let me hit him with a three-piece and a soda there. Jab, jab, straight lead hook. Up, he throws the same combo. Nice. Wow, this guy is throwing like a maniac. You see that? Killing the stamina doing that. And we got to be careful on the inside because JDS is just quicker than Stipe's hand speed. Stipe's got that long reach. Strikes come out a little bit slower. Look at this guy. He is gonna, he's, yeah, he's going to kill his stamina. Up, I pulled on that kick. Pulled back on it. I meant to throw it I need to counter him boom there we go and that straight by Stipe I believe is a level 5 it's either level 4 or 5 I think it's 5 which is the highest it goes so it does a lot of extra damage and costs less stamina to throw there he goes work that body give him something to think about and that's the thing with Stipe. He doesn't have any, like, unique moves, like a teeth kick, um, a spinning back fist, a lead overhand, elbows. Actually, he does have elbows. I take that back. He does have elbows, I believe. Oh, we drop him there. But other than that, you know, he's kind of a meat and potatoes kind of fighter, which you see is what you get, you know. He's got some solid boxing. You know, good, great wrestling. Good top control. He doesn't have a lead head kick, even. Yeah, this guy is just really aggressive right now. Like, too much aggressive. Like, it's not its not even being um, effective with it, though. We've dropped him a couple times. We've hurt him a couple times. We're just hanging back, pulling back on some of his strikes, and just blocking the rest of them. He is showing in his strikes now, though. You see that? He's throwing two now. There we go. Timed him there with that. This could be it right here. Man, what a risky kick to throw. Oh, and that's it. That is it. We got him with that stroke. Man, he looked like he was about to throw an overhand or maybe a spin or something there. Yeah, he threw that risky lead body kick while like just recovering from being hurt. It's lucky I didn't catch him with something, but we caught him there and shortly after got him out of there. Let's see that replay. Boom, caught him in a vulnerability state with that straight right, that level five, I believe, straight right. And that was all she wrote, guys. Boom. First fight down, be back with the next one. All right, Francis Ngannou. Going to try to keep it on the feet, but if I feel like I need to take him down, we'll take him down. Guy's really hanging back. It's like the opposite of that JDS player who was really aggressive. Yeah, if I knew he was leading with the jab, so or probably would which he did, so we can met him with that overhand. Yeah, if guys are always coming in at you, leading with a jab or a double jab first, you know, throw that overhand, time it, anticipate when they're gonna throw it, and you, your overhand will go over the top of that jab. Oh, we got him trying to shoot for a takedown. The thing with Ngannou, interestingly, I looked at his stats before. Besides being the only fighter in this game that has 100 power, he his top game is like a 90. It's something ridiculous. Like I think it's a 90. Or is it a submission offense? Maybe it's a submission offense. One or the other, but like either way. Oh, this guy went crazy now. Let's take our time, see? Make a miss. Lose a little stamina. Hit that body. Yep, caught him with that overhand again, rocked him. It's going to take our time. 
And I've said it before, I just cannot use Nganu. I can't, like, Overeem I've gotten used to. But Overeem has more tools than Nganu. Nganu just moves way too slow for me to, to be able to be effective with. Like, Stipe moves a little slow too, but, I mean, it's not that. It doesn't feel that bad to me as bad as Nganu, and I can handle Stipe. And Stipe also has great wrestling as well. And a good, very, very good top game. And Gano just, he's just so sluggish for me. I just cannot. I just get overwhelmed by players. Even like players that aren't that great just spamming combos at me. It can't get out the way it seems. I don't know. Maybe I need to give him another chance. But I've tried multiple times. But yeah, you have to watch out with that 100 power. You do have to respect that. There we go. Make a miss. <laughs> that wasn't a bad idea after he saw me move it do a moving slip. Call him again with that overhand. He's wasting his stamina doing this. Nice left hand. Timely defense there. Huge block for him. Alright, very good first round for us. <laughs> a little taunt. All right, you know what? We're going to go ahead and go for a quick takedown this round since he wants to taunt us. Let's go ahead and just see if we can immediately get him to the ground quickly. But yeah, that was definitely, even without the rock, that was our round. We definitely landed some really nice strikes on him. Made him miss a decent amount, too. He started off kind of hanging back a lot. Then he kind of got... Uh, Got a little aggressive there towards the second half of that round. All right, round two. All right so we're going to look for a takedown here when we get a chance. Bring yourself towards that fence, man. Let's see, we can't get him. Got it. Steepa doesn't have crucifix, unfortunately. Oh, oh, he had enough. <laughs> that first sign of a takedown, he said, I'm out of here. <laughs> if you would have done it, I would have kept it on the feet longer. All right, guys. Well, hey, that's another win. We will gladly take it. I'll be back with the next one. Mark Hunt. Man, I, I say this over and over, but it's true. Mark Hunt is the rock machine in this game. More so than Nganu because his power is a little bit under Nganu's, but he's better than Nganu, with, in my opinion, because of his strike speed. He's so fast. He's, he's very fast. He's extremely powerful. Takes nothing to rock you. And wow, look at this. We have just like that JDS player. This guy is being aggressive. Look at this. Whoa, a little lag there. Yep, another little lag spike. Oh, you see what I mean, guys? Just like that. That's all it takes. It doesn't take anything. There we go. We got him down. Yeah, it doesn't take anything for Mark Hunt to rock you in this game. It's, it's ridiculous how easy you can get a rock with him. Oh, nice try. And the thing, like I said, with Hunt is that he's so fast. Yeah, I blocked that, but the lag, you see how it lagged there? Yeah, that was some nice damage by us. But yeah, the thing with Hunt is he's really quick too, so. I remember in UFC 2 when Mark Hunt was horrible. Him and Roy Nelson were just awful. And like now Mark Hunt's a beast in this game. Of course, though, this is his weakness. It's the ground game. It's a bad ground game. I don't think his cardio probably isn't that great either, but that power on the feet, though, he can take anyone out. This is what we want, though. Deny some transitions, beat up that head and block a little bit, soften him up. Nice job by him. I should have waited a second there. Oh, yeah, you're not, you're not getting that, man. Let's posture up here. Drop a little ground and pound. Wow, he's taking some big damage here. Oh, I think he got that. Yeah, he got it. I was a little slow. Ooh, I couldn't get my block up. I was pressing the block button when I switched. Maybe because it was a switch stance there. I always say that. I keep meaning to use Mark Hunt. I don't think I've ever used him on, on my channel. I mean, I've used him before, but... I need to go ahead and check him out again. There we go. Work that body up a little bit. Take our time on the feet here. You know, that's the key. Just take our time here. 
pick and choose our shots. That's why we just got hit with that hook. Up oh, too slow on my movement there. Ah, uh, gave me the minor movement. I hate when it does that. Yeah, let's clinch this guy up since he's just so mindlessly kind of aggressive. Just throwing shots at us there. Take him back down. Nope, block that one. Should block this too. Yep. Wow. Oh, no, he didn't do anything there. All right, this was a great round for us, so. He did get the rock on us, so it's possible that he won that round. But it's not, a, I mean, I, I'm confident we're going to get him out of here, though. Did some nice damage on the ground to him. And that lag, though. Ugh. And I'm sure his cardio isn't super hot, either. Appreciate the glove touch. Make him just just block and make him miss. Take our time. Very good Muay Thai, very good wrestling, and some serious cardio. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Oh, that was a big left hand he connected with. Beautiful hook. Yep, catch with that lead hook to the body. Oh, there we go. Jab uppercut hook got him there. I felt a little lag spike there. I wonder if he tried to block it and would work or something. There we go. Slip straight him there. Hit that body up one more time. Yep. Throw him while your stamina's done and you're still hurt. Yeah. That might be it. That's it. Yep. Can't do that, guys. When your stamina is low like that and you've just been hurt, we caught him with that lead hook to the body. I think he was throwing an overhand, so we caught him in a vulnerability on top of that extra damage, rocked him. And we hit him with a three-piece upstairs, and that was enough to take him out. Took too much damage in the first round. And before he could recover, the referee was in to stop the fight. So a huge knockout victory for that fighter. Let's see that replay one more time. Boom, and then the straight. Bang. You know what? Go ahead and do one more fight here. So I will be back, guys. Boom, one more time with the last one. All right, DC Daniel Cormier. This should be fun. Let's see what kind of DC player we get here. Up, oh, <laughs> there's my answer. I was like, are we gonna get a striking DC or a wrestling one? That was sneaky. Wow, this guy's throwing too. What's up with these aggressive players today? You just have to be more measured with Stipe because, like I said, he's just slower. He's going to be slower than Dan. He's going to be slower than almost any fighter in the, in the heavyweight division. And I'm talking about inside of the inside the pocket. Even if his strike speed's fast, he has those long arms, 80-inch reach. The way the game compensates for that is they make their the taller guys with the longer reach. Strikes come out a bit slower. Boom, rock them there. So on the inside like this, you have to pick and choose your shots. See what combos they're throwing, maybe make them miss. Pick the right strike at the right time. Switching stances here. Interesting, he went south Paul. Yep, we're gonna catch him with that body kick now. It's gonna open up that rear leg body kick. Yeah, this guy, look at him. Aggressive players, man, it's crazy. We're just going to hang back. We're just going to keep doing this. Just hang, believe in our block. Try to use our move, head movement if we can here and there. And that's it. Nothing fancy. Another body kick. Work that body up too. Another straight right to the body. See, this is another guy who's just being overly aggressive and isn't really even being effective with it. There we go. Rock him again. Take our time. One, two to the body. And this is the heavyweight division. You lose stamina quicker. This isn't like, you know, you can get away with this at like, you know, the bantamweight division, featherweight even or whatever. But these higher weight class, you can't keep throwing like that over and over. 
Oh, wow. I really did not expect him to do that a second time at all. <laughs> Some of these players, man, they just do not care. There we go. We reverse them. They will just go for things. Good job by him. There we go. Nope, block that one. He postures into place. Twenty seconds to go in round one. Block that again. Oh, this is very nice. This is just what I love doing, just little ground pound like that. We can now block up. And we, we blocked a couple of his a few more than a couple, a few of his transitions there, so a little stamina loss too. On top of all the strikes he threw, he threw a ton of strikes, and we blocked most of them on top of that, or made him miss. So very good round for us. At the end of that round, his opponent was clearly hurt. He's going to look to start. Boom, slip straight. Lead hook, classic combos. He's coming in with that jab. He is getting off some huge punches here. I hate when it gives me the minor. I'm trying to pull back and do the major. Did it again. Right hand lands flush. Excellent head movement. Very annoying when that happens. There's the major. Boom, straight lead hook again. Jab hook, yeah, he just walks right into it. He's just too aggressive. And doesn't have a plan B. He's just going to keep doing the same thing. Yep, make him miss that jab and then block that hook. I think he gave up. That's going to do it. Yep, that's it. Yeah, just just way too over-aggressive with DC. He was just way too over-aggressive, just coming forward, constantly throwing combos at me. And, like, it'd be one thing if he was destroying me and rocking me left and right, dropping me, but he wasn't. And he just didn't have really a backup plan. He just kept doing that. I thought he was going to really be a hardcore wrestler when he opened up with a, a takedown, but he really didn't go for another takedown after that, I don't think. Maybe one more. Boom, got him out of there, guys. All right, this is a good one to stop it on. Going to go ahead and stop right here, guys. I do appreciate y'all watching. I will catch you all next time. Have a fantastic day. Peace. Great angle here. Right on the button. So a seminal moment for him here tonight as he...